I'm finally making a video for the people that keep bombarding me with DMs on Instagram and sending me a ton of emails. And these people are asking what are the best cheap tools or cheap little accessories for your gimbal. And in today's video, I'm gonna cover the best accessories, the accessories that I can't live without for your gimbal. First things first, the tripod quick release adapter. Well, basically Juin is the only company that makes this. And what it does is it has a little spring loaded pin inside. And when you press it down, it literally quick releases your tripod. Now, do you need this for all gimbals? Maybe, maybe not. But for gimbals like the Juin Crane 3S and especially the Juin Weeble series gimbals, this is a must have. That's because with that gimbal, we constantly change positions going from the traditional upright gimbal to the easy sling mode on that gimbal. And there's no other better way to do this than by using this quick release adapter because it only takes about one and a half to two seconds to do. Otherwise, you are going to be wasting a lot of time just by screwing on your tripod. Next little thing, and again, the most underrated piece of equipment for your gimbal or your camera in general, and that is a mini dual ball head mount or what a lot of people call it, a magic arm. Now, magic arms come in a whole bunch of different lengths. They're seven inch, five inch, and then this is like a one inch magic arm. But what makes it unique is that it has a dual ball head. So you can actually change the angle of any accessory that you want, especially when it comes down to adding a light to your camera or adding a light to your gimbal. Now on the Juin Crane 3S and the Juin Weeble S gimbals, we do have multiple accessory ports and you can easily mount something like this with an accessory on the side. And honestly, this thing is an absolute game changer. Another cheap accessory that I strongly recommend that you get and this is not only good for your gimbal but this is good for everything and this is a small rig tool kit this is a actually a multi-tool and it has eight different tools mainly used for screwing on your camera onto your gimbal or a quick release plate I'm gonna use that flat head for that it has a Phillips head it has hex keys and everything you basically need to rig up your camera. So this is a simple tool, but yet extremely powerful. I never take it out of my camera bag unless I'm shooting. So this is a great thing to just have in your camera bag because you will constantly need this. Now we're gonna go up a little bit in price and we're gonna start talking about lighting for your gimbal. This is honestly the only light I will use on my gimbal because it's bicolor and it's RGB. I did a full comprehensive review on this light, so definitely check it out right here. And this is such a powerful light. It has a built-in battery, has a ton of pre-programmed effects, and it has a built-in diffuser, so that way it produces soft light, no harsh lighting here. And there's just so many different ways that you can use this light. It has a cool little hinge mount here, which allows you to mount it either vertically like this, or you can mount it horizontally like this. And this light paired with the magic arm, you can easily mount it on your gimbal. Here I'm using it on the Weeble S, and wow, it's definitely a great setup and I highly recommend it. Next up, we have the Power Pack from Juin. Now this is specifically meant to power the Juin Crane 3S gimbal. I did a full comprehensive review on this battery pack and uh, a lot of people are kind of confused as to what it does. I did a video a while back with Armando from Mondo Bytes. You can check out that video right here where we used this battery pack and rigged it up onto the Crane 3S and we rigged up that gimbal on a car rig and it was absolutely phenomenal. So what does this battery pack do? Well, it basically adds more torque to your gimbal especially for those of you who use a lot of cinema grade cameras. So this is honestly going to transform your gimbal into an absolute beast. And we went through a bunch of different tests with this power pack. It stood up to 45 to 50 mile per hour winds. And again, I did make a full video about this battery pack right here. So make sure you check it out. And it also comes with those 18650 batteries. You're not just getting the shell of the battery pack, but you're also getting 
these six 18650 batteries. And the plus side of this battery pack is that it doesn't only have ports to power up your gimbal, it actually has USB ports, it has a DC out port so you can power up your monitor, and it also has a secondary DTAP port so you can power even more accessories. So you can power up to four different accessories at once with this little battery pack, and it's made out of aluminum so it feels very high quality, and it has a V-mount connection on the back. So it just makes it a very versatile battery pack. And even if you don't use it on your gimbal, this is overall a beautifully done battery pack. And I have a ton of different V-mount batteries here. I have like four or five. And this is the one I use the most just because I can power so many different tools off of this single battery pack. And because it's using these 18650 batteries, it can output power of 100 watts. So you can power very powerful lights with this single battery pack and using the DTAP out ports. And last but not least, a manual stabilizer. Now, a while back, I made a video on how to create a DIY RE Trinity rig. I strongly suggest that you check out that video. And a ton of other YouTube creators actually found that video helpful, and I was actually very glad because I was just messing around with my old manual stabilizers. And honestly, with testing that rig, I found out that it creates beautiful, smooth movements with your gimbal. I showed this rig to Armando, he loved it, James Matthews, I mean, a ton of other people really love this rig. And it's really not that expensive, guys. It's about 150, 200 bucks, if that. You can find a really cheap manual stabilizer and combine it with your gimbal. And I'll make more tutorials on that very soon. We are in very tight lockdowns currently in California. So as soon as those lockdowns are lifted, I'm gonna make some more tutorials for you guys. But you can find all of the best prices for all of this equipment that I mentioned in today's video in the links in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Also, I wanna talk about something that uh, happened to me this last week and it was actually very heartbreaking. Uh, and for those of you who made it this far into the video, I applaud you, thank you so much. Um, you get a little bonus for watching this far. All right, so I use a standing desk uh, when, I, when I work, when I make my uh, videos and uh, I usually like to stand up, sit down and I had one of these Western digital hard drives, like the big kind, the my book Western digital hard drives. And this was my backup hard drive. So a lot of my footage was on this drive. And uh, let me just plug it in and show you what it does. All this will start making sense in just a second. All right, so I have the hard drive plugged into power. Now let's plug it in into my computer and see what happens. It's spinning up right now, but just have a little listen. That's not a good sound, guys. Um, so basically what happened is, is my power cable got snagged onto the uh, standing desk and it literally, <laughs> it smashed, it pulled my hard drive off of my table and it flew right into the wall. I honestly had no idea how that was possible until it happened, but this cable snagged onto one of the legs of the table and as it was going up, it literally just like, it stretched the cable and it flung the hard drive into the wall and that was basically the end of my hard drive. So this is basically a PSA for all of you. Remember to back up your footage, please, 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 because this can happen to anybody. And this hard drive couldn't have broken on a better week because that week I finished all of my client videos and they approved everything. And so I don't need to access any of my old footage anymore, but it still kind of blows because I can't use that footage anymore for any of my B-roll for future videos. So I'm going to have to shoot a lot of new content for you guys and show you how I work like behind the scenes and all that good stuff. But uh, rest in peace to this hard drive. And if I really wanted to fix it, I would have to take out the disc from this Western Digital Drive, buy a new one, and then just switch the discs. But that's just a lot of work and I don't really have the tools to open this thing up. So remember guys, please, 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 please back up your footage. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Again, links are down below. Make sure you check them out. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.